Hey everyone, it's Sevi. After a ride in rerun, two Shao reruns, and 69 child reruns, many players have wondered, when will we get a Kazuha rerun? But finally, the drought has ended in the 2.8 Genshin patch, much to the joy of many players, I'm sure. It took a whole year for him to come back, so is he still worth pulling even now? My overwhelmingly definitive answer is, yes he is. And in this video, I'll discuss the reasons Kazaha blows me away, and why I think he'll do the same for you if you don't have him yet. Let's first go through a quick history of Kazaha's release concerning his reception, the meta then, and elemental reactions. There's no doubt now that Kazuha is a much sought after character, but it might surprise you if you weren't around then that Kazuha wasn't actually as widely beloved during his pre-release reception. Before his release, barely anyone knew who Kazuha was in terms of his story significance. As for his kit, it was met with some pessimism, the worst thing perhaps being labeled as a mere 5-star sucrose, which is a strange insult. Sucrose is an incredible 4-star unit, so for anyone to be referred to as a 5-star version of her is actually a compliment. Today, we have 5-star Singcho, Yelan, and she's a great unit. If an anticipated character got called a 5-star Bennett, people would lose their shit. Yes, Kazuha and Sucrose have obvious similarities in utility, but I think there are enough nuances in their kits to set them apart. And now that you have them for either Abyss Chambers, if needed, is a good thing. Regardless, that comparison led to some underhype for Kazuha. And at the time, Spiral Abyss Chambers were often occupied by either bosses or numerous enemy mobs, also known as Venti Floors. Venti could already handle floors like that even at low investment, and Sucrose was already available. There just didn't seem to be a lot of incentive to pull for Kazuha. In the Abyss cycles that came after Kazuha though, chamber lineups catered less to Venti and became fights where a more generalist animal unit like Kazuha could really shine. Now he dominates as one of the most used characters in Spiral Abyss. Another noteworthy point is that when Kazuha was released in version 1.6, there were also revisions with how elemental mastery and reactions worked. Namely, the damage scaling of transformative reactions, Swirl being one of them, was boosted. In the long run, it seems the winds of change were in favor of Kazuha. Of course, he isn't the only one who benefited from that reaction buff, but the various ways in which his kit can facilitate all kinds of reactions, amplifying, transformative, and Swirl all together helped a lot with increasing his overall value. And so, the post-release reception of Kazaha grew very warm, and once we all saw how good he was, it seems Kazaha's rerun is highly anticipated. Let's now discuss what he contributes. I'll have a detailed guide out after this discussing Kazuha's kit in more depth, so let me summarize what he does and his usefulness. In a nutshell, Kazuha is an animal unit that crowd controls, swirls, and facilitates elemental reactions, gives your team elemental damage bonus by swirling that particular element, and reduces the enemy's elemental resistance through the Viridescent Venerer set. Since his damage bonus buff scales on his EM stat, Kazuha gave EM a new utility within his kit that hasn't been replicated in anyone else's. The closest parallel is Sucrose's EM buff, but they're still ultimately different. Kazuha's damage buff is incredibly helpful in many reaction-based teams and a top choice for mono-element teams. And being elemental damage bonus rather than a Sucrose's EM buff, this is especially useful in freeze teams where EM is useless. Swirling multiple elements simultaneously, which Kazuha is great for, allows him to buff and shred resistance of two or three elements at once, but double or triple swirls can also cause chain reactions as results of the swirled elements. And since his burst can do an elemental infusion, that's more off-field elemental application and swirl damage, which also helps trigger more elemental chain reactions. Kazaha's often labeled as a support who helps his teammates do bigger damage. However, I've seen that lead to him being underestimated as a damage dealer. Make no mistake, he's also no slouch in that regard. And no, you don't have to build him with attack and crit to be impressed by his DPS, because his EM build can actually be his most powerful damage dealing build. Remember, he can do swirl damage, trigger multiple elemental reactions, and infuse his abilities to deal elemental damage and reactions. Kazuha 
actually contributes good damage to your team DPS via his own damage. So if someone says Kazuha is only a support, that would be a mistake. His role as the animal buffer, shredder, sub DPS, and crowd controller makes him quite flexible as an animal teammate. It's a breeze for him to slide into meta teams, which is probably why he's seen so much use in the abyss. But in general, just him being this solid animal character makes him easy to slot into many teams anyway. Not only is Kazuha a strong unit, but he feels fun to use thanks to my favorite part about him, his skill. It offers both great exploration and combat mechanics. You can give yourself a boost for hard to reach places, jump up with him in midair, enjoy being a pogo stick, force your enemies to hug it out, and so on. It sucks. Literally, it's great crowd control. Venti is the best sucker when he works, but I think Kazuha's suction does have an advantageous mechanic. It doesn't have the fickle auto-targeting issue that we sometimes experience with Venti and Sucrose. Venti and Sucrose's suctions can sometimes have unreliable auto-aim, leading their suction point to sometimes go off course, which affects battle precision. There are, of course, workarounds for those problems such as the back-to-the-wall technique. But the simplicity of Kazaha is that he himself is the crosshair or target. He's the eye of the storm that pulls enemies and objects towards himself. If you want to suck enemies, then literally place him where you want them to go. And so it makes aiming much more convenient and precise for enemy mobs. Double or triple swirling with Kazaha is also easier compared to other animals due to this positioning convenience. He was such a refreshing unit to play with, and I do believe a significant part of it is how his gameplay feels. Is he free to play friendly enough to build and unlock all this potential? That's also a yes. At C0, he is complete. Constellations only make him better, they do not solve any inherent issues in his kit. But the worst of all, as always, is the artifact farming. The best and most straightforward Kazuha build is simply a 4-piece Viridescent Venerer, which we all know is in a domain that's infamous for giving banger Maiden's beloved pieces, but trash VV pieces. But that's the one true set to rule them all for Kazuha before experimenting with other builds, so you really have to get it. In terms of weapons, he has very good 4-star options. The best option for me, whether you spend or are free to play, is actually the Favonia Sword. If you instead have a sacrificial sword from random pulls, that also works. Iron Sting or Dark Iron Sword might be seen as free alternatives to Freedom Sworn, his signature weapon, and they'll also do the job, but not as well as a Favonius Kazuha build will, simply because it outputs the same damage and buff potential as an Iron Sting with the appropriate EM or ER sands while giving Kazuha added battery utility. Thankfully, we should be getting Kazuha's story-related weapon for free, so as of now, it remains to be seen how good it will be versus existing options. I think some things that could make it competitive with the previous weapons is if it does at least one of the following. 1. It gives EM. 2. It gives ER. Or 3. It has a team buffing effect. We'll see. I'll be sure to discuss his weapon options in more detail in my complete Kazuha guide. In summary, Kazuha is a powerful animo teammate that simply works well in so many teams. I believe he will only continue to find more relevance with new characters and teams in the future, which is why Kazuha will very likely remain worth pulling. He's currently positioned between the end of the Inazuma patch and the start of Sumeru, and this puts him once again at a disadvantage, as some players have to face either saving up for incoming waves of new Sumeru characters, or finally spend their primos on his elusive rerun. It's a tough choice for sure, and if you're lacking in your animal roster, he and Heizo on the same banner are all the more very tempting. At least, if you fail to get Kazuha, you'll likely get a Heizo copy or two, and at least that's one animal character you can use instead. Or you get Kazuha, and you'll have the joy of owning a tried and tested fun and meta character now, rather than wondering when his banner will arrive again. Who knows if we have to wait another year after after this. Either way, the choice is up to you, and it's understandable if you'd rather save your primos for the new Sumeru patch. But if he winds up in your roster, then know that you've got one of the best characters in Genshin Impact. That's going to be all for this video everyone, let me know in the comments what you think about Kazuha, and if you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like, consider subscribing to my channel for more Genshin Impact guides and content, and I'll see you all soon. Take care!